Hi, Gabe here with Right Channel Radios. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through choosing the correct hood mount for your vehicle. Be sure to check out our website first at rightchannelradios.com and see if there's a mount made specifically for your year, make, and model. If you can't find one there, then I'm gonna show you how to evaluate your hood channel and choose a mount that fits best. First thing you're gonna do is take a look at your hood rail here. As you can see, this hood rail has a 90 degree angle on the bottom here. There are some bumps on it, so you're gonna to wanna to choose a spot where it's level and comes up straight. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is choose a mount that has a similar angle. That would be the universal hood mount or the deep channel hood mount. Here I have the deep channel hood mount. As you can see here, it has a 90 degree base and fits really nicely here in the hood channel, nice and snug. It does, however, have a slight pitch forward because of the angle of the hood channel itself. So you wanna find a level spot to be able to mount this so that your antenna is nice and vertical. If you cannot find a level spot, then what you wanna do is find a mount like our universal hood mount, which as you can see here, has a slight pitch to it and is adjustable. It's important to take into account how you're gonna be attaching your coax cable to the unit itself. As we can see here, we have a PL259 stud and coax attached. And there's really not much room between the bottom of the stud and the fender itself. You would not be able to unattach this without actually unattaching the mount from the body, as you can see there. Or I guess you could just grab it to the top. Anyway, for something like this with low clearance or low, uh, not very much room, you want to use something like this. This is our fire ring coax cable mounted on our, or attached to our deep channel hood mount. As you can see here, it's going to come off at a 90 degree angle. So you're not gonna have to worry about touching the fender itself or rubbing or any issues like that. And it's a really sleek and clean install. All right, so we got the mount attached, the coax cable run. All that's left to do is put in the antenna, which you can see here, and we're off to the races. If you have any questions on this or you want to actually pick one of these up for your rig, give us a call or check us out on the website at rightchannelradios.com.